Hey everyone, Mike Sherry here at Sherry 4x4. Today I got a special video about lifted vehicles, lifted trucks, lifted Jeeps, and how to go about it. So I'm gonna break this video up into three segments that'll make it easy for you. One, the first segment I'm gonna start with, I'm just gonna call it the nuts and bolts of putting the vehicle together, lifting it, putting bigger tires, that kind of stuff on it. Second, I'm gonna go into the cost associated with doing that, the cost that you're gonna encounter. And third, I'm going to finish up with the ramifications from doing that. How's it going to affect your resale value? How's it going to affect your warranty if the vehicle is still under warranty, things of that sort. So starting with the nuts and bolts. So say you have a vehicle or maybe you're thinking about purchasing a vehicle and lifting it up. It's an awesome thing to do. You're going to have a vehicle unlike anyone else's out there and it's just going to be unique. I, I envy you. We sell a lot of vehicles like that. So you're going to find different kits online. There's different lifts you can get, suspension lifts, body lifts, things like that one thing to put into consideration when looking at all those lifts is okay yeah you got a four inch lift for the ram 1500 of your year okay one who's going to put it on okay and then uh, as you're putting it on uh, the the person selling you the the lift the component system is going to say yeah it's a bolt on lift that, that that is not true there's no such thing as a bolt on lift all of them need a little fabrication i don't care how well refined they are so think about that who's going to put it on what kind of garage is going to do it? Are they going to stand behind their work? Are they going to be able to make adjustments after it's gone down the road 100 miles and things have gotten a little loosened up? Who's going to calibrate the speedometer? Um, are they going to back their work? Meaning if something breaks, are they going to fix it? You know, So some things to think about there. All right, now we're going to get into the second segment, cost. So whenever you do a lifted vehicle, it, it's got to be the whole vehicle. You need the suspension parts, you need the upgraded wheels, the upgraded tires, uh, you're going to need uh, the calibration of it all, you need someone to put it all together. And oftentimes what I see, we trade in a lot of lifted vehicles that people has done themselves or had someone do, is it's done in segments, right? You buy, you buy the lift and then you're like, well, I need some bigger tires and wheels. This doesn't look very good. So then you buy the tires and wheels six months later after you save up some money and then you do this and then you do that. The trouble of it is, is you get a vehicle that was done in stages and the technology has kind of changed in stages and maybe what you wanted and what you could afford has kind of altered during those stages and you get a truck that's really not quite put together, right? Like it's okay, but it probably isn't going to ride the best because it wasn't all researched at the same time. What exactly are you going to do? And you just get a, a, a truck that's not quite all there. And you're going to have a lot of time invested in this. So there's there's a lot of cost associated with that. And if you're going to do it yourself, if you, if you can wrench it and do it yourself, that's awesome. If you can't, finding a person or a shop that can do that for you, there's going to be a lot of cost associated there. And on top of that, it's probably going to be all out of pocket or credit card, right? There's not going to be a bank that's going to finance this. So another thing to think about if you're thinking about lifting a vehicle, maybe buying the vehicle first and then lifting it over time is just something to consider is the cost. All right, so finally we're going to end here with what's the ramifications of all this? How's it going to affect my warranty? Well, truth be told is if you start adding suspension parts, things like that, your warranty is going to probably be void, especially if something breaks. So say, say on a new Ram, you add some suspension parts and stuff on it like that, and maybe um, uh, a control arm or something breaks like that. Yeah, good luck getting that covered at your local Ram store. They're gonna say, what's this? None of this is factory. Something's messed up here. So be wary of that. It's probably gonna void some, maybe even all of your warranty. Second thing to think about is resale value, and I see this a lot. So we, we, we sell Rocky Ridge custom uh, Jeeps and lifted trucks, and we trade in a lot of, I don't know, custom built, garage built, lifted vehicles on, in on these things, and the resale value on those type of vehicles is never very good. In fact, often they're worth less than if the truck, truck was stock because you know you don't know what you're getting into you don't know who did it you don't there's just a lot of unknowns there so it really affects its resale value and another reason is the warranty if it is still under factory warranty you can't resell it telling the customer it is because truth be told it probably isn't so another thing to think about there is resale value if you're putting your kit on yourself how's it going to affect the resale value and truth is it's probably going to be a net zero or even a negative resale value compared to if you never touched your, your vehicle at all. So um, lastly is another part to consider is if you did this all from the start, 
from a company like Rocky Ridge or Waldock or SCA Performance Trucks, if you bought a brand new truck with all that on there, what do you get? So you do get a truck that's backed by a warranty generally that is federal motor vehicle safety standards. So this is, a, this is a government group that makes sure that this company is putting parts on this vehicle in an appropriate way and parts that are made for that vehicle and that are safe. And the companies are really making sure they wanna do this because they don't wanna recall or uh, the highway you know, division on them for putting unsafe vehicles out there on the road. So uh, you get a truck that's federal motor vehicle safety standard and that complies with the manufacturer's warranty and doesn't void anything and on top of that is resale value on these trucks when we trade in a Rocky Ridge or a Waldock or a Sherrod or an SCA performance pickup truck the resale value is so much higher than if it's a stock truck and a lot higher than if it's a truck that my Uncle Jim lifted in his garage three years ago. It just is, it just is. So definitely do your research on that. I hope this video helps. If you'd like to chat, we got some professionals in store that would love to chat with you about this. Uh, and with that, this is a, a video about ramifications and costs associated with lifting your vehicle. Thanks for watching everyone.